McLaren P1 GTR. The first car in today's video is valued at an incredible price of about $3.4 million. But you shouldn't be so surprised, there are cars that cost even more. The McLaren P1 GTR concept was first introduced in August 2014. The final version was presented in Geneva in March 2015. The car boasts an output of 1,000 horsepower, provided by a 3.8-litre V8 engine, as well as an electric motor hidden in the left block. The designers worked tirelessly to give the car an aggressive look. The manufacturer released only a small series of McLaren P1 GTRs, about 45 units. First of all, it is a racetrack car. Therefore, it could only be purchased by people who had already bought the road version of the P1. Taking this into account, the actual price of the McLaren P1 GTR is even more than $3.4 million. However, this price includes consulting with specialists about driving, training on the McLaren Racing Simulator, as well as participating in six international racing competitions. The Lamborghini Veneno A limited edition of this car was released in 2013. There are only five copies of the Lamborghini Veneno in the world. Only three of them were put up for sale as well. It's noteworthy that despite the price, about $4 million, all three cars were sold before release. The car received its name in honor of the aggressive fighting bull Veneno, who, in 1914 during a bullfight in Spain, took the life of Toreador Jose Sanchez Rodriguez. The car was designed for the 50th anniversary of the company, too. At that moment, it was the most expensive car in the world. The body of the Lamborghini Veneno is made of carbon fiber, and you've probably already noticed a large number of air collectors, which give the Veneno an even more unique look. The basis for this exclusive car was the Lamborghini Aventador, which had to lose about 125 kilograms to become the Lamborghini Veneno. The car is equipped with a 6.5-litre V12 engine. The developers have optimized the exhaust system too, improved aerodynamics, and managed to achieve 750 horsepower. The top speed is 355 kilometers per hour. The Bugatti Devo it's hard to understand why someone would buy a car that costs the same as a few houses or apartments. It's even more difficult to understand what a car must be made of to cost as much as $5.5 million. But there's nothing to understand, apparently. It's enough to know that it's just exclusive, because not everyone can spend that much money on a car. So, the Bugatti Devo was first presented at the end of the Monterey Car Week in 2018. The car is powered by a four-turbine, eight-liter W16 engine. Its output is 1,500 horsepower, and the torque is 1,600 newton meters. As a matter of fact, this car is an evolution of the famous Bugatti Chiron. The hypercar has been repeatedly modified, for example, it has 90 kilograms more downforce at high speeds. Also, engineers have improved the suspension bracket and have increased the camber. The result is a car that runs 8 seconds faster than the Chiron, and 3 seconds faster than the Chiron Sport. The maximum speed that can be achieved is 380 kilometers per hour. A total of 40 vehicles were produced. This explains why it's so cheap. And now you'll see that a unique car can cost much more. The Maybach Accelero And although this car was released back in 2005, we had to include it in our list of the most expensive cars. That's because its owner paid the incredible $8 million for it. The Maybach Accelero was developed in cooperation with the tire manufacturer Folder. It's based on the Maybach 57 limousine. 
the manufacturer worked pretty hard on the design of the car, both inside and out. The list of materials that were used for interior decoration includes natural leather, neoprene, aluminium and polished carbon fibre. The designers intentionally added aggressive lines to give the car a terrifying look. The car is designed for two people. It has a 6-litre V12 engine with 700 horsepower under the hood. The Maybach Accelero accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.4 seconds. Its maximum speed is 351 km per hour. The Rolls-Royce swept tail. And here's another car that also exists in a single copy. It was shown in 2017 at the Concorso d'Eleganza Villa d'Este. The Rolls-Royce swept tail was produced for a client who wanted a car that would look like a racing yacht. And at the same time, like a Rolls-Royce from the 20s or 30s. The information about the customer is kept confidential. It's only known that the owner likes to collect expensive cars and yachts, and he paid $13 million for the exclusive vehicle. The design of the Rolls-Royce swept tail has unique features that made the car stand out. First of all, pay attention to the front panel in the passenger compartment. It almost doesn't have buttons or handles. The central console has a cooling compartment to store champagne, as well as glasses. Between the air vents, there's an analog clock. It's made of ebony, and the hands are cast in titanium. Inside, the salon is also finished with wood, ebony, and paldao. The seats, of course, are made of leather, and the roof is made of glass. Despite the fact that the body of this car seems to be a little longer, the wheelbase here is exactly the same as that of the Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe. Under the hood, there's a 459 horsepower V12 engine with 720 newton meters of torque. Bugatti La Voiture Noire. Every year, car enthusiasts from all over the world wait eagerly for the Geneva International Motor Show. This year, Bugatti participated in this event to prove once again that it can surprise anyone. This spring, they showed their latest creation, the Bugatti La Voiture Noire. The price of this car is $18 million. The only problem is that even with this kind of money, it's no longer possible to buy this car. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire was produced in a single copy and sold immediately. The name of the buyer remains anonymous, and the head of the company just said that the car now belongs to a passionate Bugatti fan. But let's talk about the car itself. The Bugatti 57 SC Atlantic was the inspiration for this new car. It was the personal car of Jean Bugatti, the son of the owner of the company, as well as a talented designer. During the Second World War, this car disappeared without a trace. By the way, it was also known as La Voiture Noire, which translates from French as black car. Not surprisingly, the car shown in Geneva is also painted black. The Bugatti La Voiture Noire was released to celebrate the 110th anniversary of the Bugatti company and the 110th birthday of Jean Bugatti. This car produces 1500 horsepower from a quad turbo 8 litre W16 engine. The torque is 1600 newton meters. The car is also equipped with six exhaust pipes. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals, amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.